Okay, <laughs> so let's uh, continue the lecture. Okay, here the okay. So let's go to the path integral formalism. Oh, there are many <laughs> things. <laughs> uh, okay, here. Sorry. Delta is a uh, sorry. Delta is a symmetry of the theory. I mean, I e delta s equals zero. S is the action of the theory, and of course it's a non anomalous, anomalous. And uh, okay, and then delta square is also a symmetry uh, because uh, this is just a uh, uh, twice. I mean, yeah, symmetric operation, and then again symmetric operation. So this should be a symmetry. And uh, okay, if delta is a fermionic symmetry, this becomes a bosonic symmetry. And let us consider the uh, uh, this one. Definition is same as uh, like that one. Of course, uh, that zero is a uh, then. And uh, okay, without uh, insertion of the operator, this is a partition function. So I uh, we call this z. But uh, okay, okay. And where zero and. Uh, Okay, so let's consider such a correlation function in a theory. The assumption is that delta is a symmetry, so it's uh, delta s bunch by acting delta, and o, o1, on is this? Uh, so not this is not theta, so <laughs> this is o. <laughs> this o, o1 to o n. This is o, some some operator insertion. I mean, this is uh, also a. Uh, uh, Invariant uh, operator for this symmetry. Okay, so supersymmetric case. This is a super some Suzy invariant operator, and uh, it's a called BPS operator because this uh, yeah this operator <laughs> keeps uh, some supersymmetry. Anyway, and the delta i satisfy should satisfy this one. Delta square i equals zero, and the bosonic part of the delta i is po positive definite. Oh, of course, I can uh, we can. Uh, this uh, this can be relaxed to just a uh, uh, there's a uh, uh, lower bound for the deltas. Right. Okay. Anyway, so this is the assumption. This is the analog assumption for the uh, <laughs> something <laughs> here. <laughs> uh. Then we will show. Uh, this z of t is indeed independent of t. Then okay, sorry, phi represents uh, everything. I mean, everything means uh, Bosons, fermions, gauge bosons, uh, everything. We represent it by phi. 
Okay, here. Okay. Uh, this one. Yeah. Ah, okay, sorry. So this is a delta i uh, part of the bosonic part. Bosonic part of the delta i should be positive, or uh, at least there is some lower bound for the. Actually, this is a. Uh, yeah, sorry. This is a. Uh, yeah. We will use this property uh, later, but uh, yeah, he. Uh, this one. Uh, yeah, for example, if the delta i is like uh, f, f, f squared, this is positive. But if it is minus, it's a negative. Okay, so this requirement is this shape positive, like a like a Hamiltonian uh, for the uh, supersymmetric case. Yeah. But this is yeah. This property is data used here. We don't we don't need this one. But uh, anyway, okay. Then, uh, as before, uh, not okay. Okay. Minus t delta i. O one to O N. Then it's simple. Uh, in this case, uh, this operator is uh, have this property. Uh, we assumed this property. So this delta uh, acting on this one vanishes. Also delta acting on this one vanishes because of this is a symmetry of the theory. And delta uh, acting on this one is also vanishing because we assume this property, delta scale i equals zero. Okay. Then this is zero. This is a user property the symmetry of the theory. Uh, you can see, but <laughs> here I will show this uh, explicitly, uh, like uh, Second line here, yeah. delta. Yes. yes. Uh, this one, delta acting on uh, these uh, things. Yeah. So delta to delta i. Because it's a delta delta i equal delta squared i equal zero because of the we. Oh sorry, we we require this one. Sorry? Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's true, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Here, A is uh, uh, any function, functional of phi. Then, delta of this A can be written uh, it's actually a definition of this one is this one. Uh, limit, uh, yeah. A phi plus delta phi minus uh, phi. This is the definition of this one. Derivative of the, I mean, supersymmetric, uh, some transformation of the symmetry of A, this one. And then, uh, this is. By transformation here, phi prime equal phi plus delta theta, and delta phi prime equal d phi. Here, here in this line, 
Uh, we just uh, uh, take make a coordinate transformation field emission, like uh, this one. And then this is same. So this is actually is the measure is invariant under this deformation. It's a uh, assumption. Actually, it's this symmetry is non-anomalous. Okay, this property. Okay, then uh, we can write down this one by a five prime and b five prime here. Okay, and then this is just a name of the phi. So, okay, so this is same as this one. This is we say it's a phi prime, but this phi, but it's of course same. So this is zero. Simple. Uh -huh. oh, sorry, here, uh, uh, probably I do not understand your question, but uh, here I, I uh, wrote down this part uh, as A5. This one? This to this. Uh, from this to this. I actually, yeah, delta acting, acting Y gives uh, this one. And this delta is a symmetry, so this is a derivative. So it's a, uh, there is a Leibniz rule. So delta act on uh, this S, exponential S, it's also zero here. And delta acting on this one is zero because of these properties. And delta acting on this is zero because of this property. So if we require this uh, property for the delta I and uh, S and O, then we can show this is zero. Okay. So this is very simple. Then Okay, so it doesn't depend on t. So t equals zero. So original correlator is uh, same as uh, t goes to infinity limit of this function. And uh, this factor z t contains exponential minus t delta i. And uh, this is becomes infinity. So if delta i is non-zero, then uh, such contribution vanishes in this limit. Okay. Uh, it's a bit uh, uh, a subtle, but uh, anyway. So in, in principle, uh, only the Okay, so in this limit, the pass integral is localized or to the saddle point. Saddle point means uh, this delta i, uh, the configuration which gives uh, delta i equal zero. Okay, so such, uh, if we take uh, delta i appropriately, then this saddle point is just uh, 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 some, some, some constant or something. Then the path integral becomes uh, just an uh, integral. This is called the localization. Okay, this is yeah essence of the localization technique. Yes. Uh, 
Ah, this one. Yeah, ah, yes, yes, yeah. Yes, this, yeah, here we use uh, this uh, properties. And uh, we, yeah, shift uh, the, the, I mean, the limit, I mean, the lower bound equal to zero in this set. Uh, here, here, this is minus delta t delta i. If there's no bound, so it's a uh, diverges. This is my, it's minus uh, something, minus one, so then it's a plus one t, so t goes to infinity. So it's a, uh, uh, doesn't give any sensible s things. So we need uh, uh, this one. Sorry, so could you speak again? Ah, this one. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, okay, sorry. Yeah, this actually delta is a, uh, in this delta is some, yeah, delta is something like a epsilon yeta or some, uh, or epsilon psi or something like that. But uh, he, here, this delta is defined by epsilon as a bosonic one. It, yes, yeah. Or, yeah, actually, uh, this delta with epsilon, uh, uh, Fermi is uh, uh, related to the this transformation in operator homerism. But if we, we do not introduce this one, this is the user one, this gives us such things. If we, with uh, some, some bosonic uh, spinner uh, conducted with this one. So, sorry, so this, yeah, here, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a, uh, yeah, symmetry theory. That means, uh, yeah, for the supersymmetric case, uh, this delta is uh, some, something like that. Sorry? Ah, uh, yeah, like BRST, yes, yes, yeah. But uh, the difference is BRST is delta squared equal zero for the BRST case. Here, we do not assume that one. Delta square can be something. Uh, it's can be uh, some bosonic, uh, in, in the supersymmetric, it's a bosonic symmetry. The difference. Actually, in a, for example, in a localization technique is uh, uh, applied or first, uh, I mean, used in a topological field theory or BRST symmetric case. That case, it's theory becomes uh, topological or something like that. But uh, in this case, uh, yeah, in, in general, uh, some, yeah, sometimes uh, this is non zero and uh, the theory is not, I mean, what we can compute is not topological, which can depend, I mean, physical things can be computed using uh, such things. So this, yeah, yeah, this is related to BRST, but uh, it's, an, it's, it's not uh, user, I mean. Actually, this is uh, related to the equivariant uh, cohomology or something like that. Uh, that is related to this, this one. But uh, I will not explain the related mathematics. Actually, this location is uh, 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 infinite dimensional uh, uh, extension of the mathematical theorem. But uh, I, I will not explain that. Sorry. OK. Yes. <laughs> Here, yeah, it's uh, yeah. Uh, we do not assume anything. <laughs> we do not. It's uh, yeah. We assume the delta is a symmetry, and uh, if this property is satisfied, then it's okay. But usually, yeah, delta is come. Yeah. I don't know any example. Delta is, not, I mean, not that super. Yeah, it's a bit difficult. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's a yeah. In natural choices, delta is a supersymmetric generator like this. Fermionic, yes, yeah, yeah, yes. yes. Oh, so, sorry. Why? Why this is bounded? A bosonic part. A fermionic part is a, yeah. Fermion is. A fer <laughs> Yeah, sorry. This is not a uh, user integration. This is just a uh, one plus eta uh, for, so for alpha, beta, or something like that. Then this is just uh, take uh, this beta. This is like a derivative or something like that. So we don't need uh, any such things uh, for the uh, film case. Yeah, for, for the bos bosonic, uh, yeah, bosonic part, it's diverges or something like that. But. Uh, yeah, for phenomenic, it's uh, just like a derivative or something like that. There's no divergence. Yeah.
So, so this is like a semi-classical limit on a WKB approximation. If we consider this T as a one over H bar or something like that, then T goes to infinity limit, H bar goes to zero limit. But, uh, but here it's not a approximation. It's exact because we can take T goes to infinity limit. So we can compute uh, without approximation, so theory in this limit. At the, by the saddle point approximation. Then, okay. Yeah, but uh, as you know, from the WKB approximation, this includes uh, one loop factor. Um, this I will explain uh, in an uh, explicit model, but uh, yes, there is a yeah, one loop factor means the Gaussian integration of free passion function that is remained. Uh, even uh, uh, we will take t goes to infinity. Okay, so the classical path plus uh, uh, something around that. It's a WKB approximation, ap approximation, but uh, yeah. You you will see uh, uh, the ex yeah we will we will show the very uh, simple toy model to apply this uh, one and then you will see what's uh, mean by one loop factor there. But anyway, uh, then usually this computation of the correlator, I mean BPS correlator, can be represented by like this. Okay. So this is a uh, original action, but uh, this restricted to just a saddle point. Okay, like a classical pass. Okay, and then this is a uh, uh, usually becomes a not a pass integral, but just a, like a integral for several fields finite number of the field. And this one loop factor is just, this is just a Gaussian factor. I mean, so free theory. So we can compute the free theory explicitly. Then this is tractable. I mean, we can compute this exactly, okay? Then original this computation include uh, strong coupling physics, and it's uh, very, very difficult to evaluate at t equals zero point. But uh, t equal infinity po point, it's just a uh, one loop computation plus a uh, finite number of the integral. So this is, uh, uh, in this way, we can have the exact result, exact correlator in a supersymmetric theory for a restricted class of the uh, operator. Actually, one example of this types of the, uh, I mean, the independence is a gauge fixing of the gauge theory, ordinary gauge theory, not a supersymmetric one. Actually, we can uh, we can think delta as a BRST. Then BRST satisfies uh, every criteria. Then this we can add this type of the terms in the action. Some 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 uh, 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 any any function of the. It's called gauge fixing term, and the theory, or and uh, that case, uh, this uh, B, uh, BPS to BPS operator, or something like that. This is BRST invariant operator. That means that physical operator, physical operator, correlate of the physical operator doesn't depend on the gauge fixing condition. Okay, that is uh, by the Akugo and Uehara uh, all days, uh, 40 years ago or something. So, yeah. We can see, uh, we, we know such types of the local, ah, uh, such types of the argument. Uh, and t goes to infinity limit uh, maybe correspond to the R xi gauge with xi goes to zero limit. It's a uh, uh, unitary gauge. Okay, in a unitary gauge, uh, the ghost 
or some, some of the stays decoupled in the theory explicitly. So the computation is uh, in some sense simple. So, but uh, here, yeah, we can apply this to the supersymmetric case theory. In this case, delta square is a bosonic. Ah, sorry, bosonic, so symmetry. This is typically is, uh, for example, rotation of the manifold for the S1 or S something or gauge symmetry uh, generator or R symmetry generator. So delta square becomes uh, usually uh, some symmetry operator in the theory. Ah, the bosonic to bosonic. Uh, actually, I don't know. Uh, actually, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, Stanford and Witten uh, applied the uh, localization technique uh, to the uh, bosonic and uh, uh, non-supersymmetric model, at least. So in that case, it's a, uh, yeah, yeah, we can apply that one. And the original uh, mathematical theorem, it's a, uh, it's an integration of something uh, symplectic manifold or something like that. It's uh, then integration is localized to the points or something like that. So in that case, there is only the integration or something like that. And uh, some fermion become is something like a, a one form or something like that. So yeah, you can, yeah, it's a, uh, I don't know. <laughs> that uh, model is a bosonic type or I don't know. Actually, this is a, yeah, actually delta squared i for the user, in a user sense of bosonic one is uh, not good. I mean, it's like a, like a non, non, I mean, it's a, yeah, some, some matrix uh, which have the only the upper, upper half, uh, upper, upper, upper lower, uh, upper left, uh, upper right sector or something like that. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Sorry, I don't. I don't know any uh, nice example. So, okay, but maybe we can apply this type of argument to the pure bosonic case or something like that. But the supersymmetric case, there is a very nice things. Yeah, actually, this is come from a, a mathematical theorem. Here. So let us consider any supersymmetric, supersymmetric theory. Any dimension on any manifold, any matter content, any coupling constant, any. And then choose one supersymmetry generator, gener delta. And define such things. Here I learn the all uh, indices. The, this lambda i means uh, all, uh, that i, yeah, for example, i includes uh, a spinner index alpha, beta dot, dot or something like that, and also like uh, AB for the n equal to algebra or anything. Then, then we can see, first of all, delta squared i equals zero, because Thank you. 
Okay. Here, this, yeah, for example, this is something delta lambda i dagger lambda alpha. So then Lorentz indices are contracted. So it's a Lorentz invariant. Okay, so it's a rotation invariant. And if it, this has a U1 charge, this has a dagger, so it's a also uh, invariant. So this combination is invariant under any uh, symmetry of the theory. So that the square should be bosonic symmetry, so this satisfy this one automatically. Actually, there, there is a subtlety to satisfy automatically in a Euclidean space because of the dagger is uh, no meaning in a Euclidean space uh, in general. But, uh, but uh, at, uh, for, at least for the generic theory, this is good. Okay, so we can apply this one. And also, of course, uh, sorry, repeat, repeat the argument, okay. Okay, okay, so this i uh, runs all indices. And this is dagger, okay? And, uh, okay, this is dagger. So, uh, actual things is, uh, uh, yes, uh, so these uh, uh, are, char charge of this, this one and this one is opposite, always. Yeah, then, then this one is uh, as invariant and as uh, any uh, symmetric generator. For example, U1 charge or uh, this, this example are uh, Lorentz indices. Okay. Sorry? Any, uh, uh, actually, yeah, yeah, because, uh, yeah, yeah, here we include uh, all, uh, all uh, indices. Actually, we, we sum over all, for all, all fermion in the theory. This i and uh, everything is uh, yes contracted. Yeah, this is a, something self uh, uh, contraction. Yeah. So it's like a, yeah, it's just a V, v dagger or something like that. So then everything is uh, uh, canceled by the rotation, something like that. Yeah, usually. And anyway, uh, you can check uh, if, we, you, if you have the supersymmetric theory and choose the delta and then construct this one and uh, you can check what the delta squared i. And uh, if you have, uh, it's a zero, then it's okay. You can apply the localization technique. And uh, another, sorry. The thing, so delta squared i bosonic. Yes, in a supersymmetric case, this is this one. So delta squared i is uh, delta uh, acting on this one becomes a fermion. Because this is a fermion and the delta squared is a bosonic asymmetry and lambda is a fermion, so this is a fermion bilinear. Delta acting on this one is this term. This term is bosonic, okay? Uh, sorry. Uh, delta, ah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Yes. Yeah, so delta, yeah, this is delta lambda i dagger, delta lambda i. So this is just, uh, uh, of course, absolute value of del this delta lambda i. So this should be non-negative. Okay, this is also a bit subtle for the Euclidean theory. But, uh, yeah, in general, this is true. This, uh, these are... In Euclidean. But uh, at least uh, 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 the model by model, we can check that these properties are indeed satisfied. Okay.
Okay, so yeah. If you have a supersymmetric gauge theory and you can you want to analyze that, then you can apply this localization technique anytime. Of course, in uh, quantum field theory, to compute the uh, correlator exactly is not uh, possible usually. For example, sorry, uh, for example, uh, if you want to check the ADS CFT in the uh, theory side, uh, in a weak gravity side, then uh, corresponding gauge theory become a strong coupling. So we cannot do almost anything. But, uh, uh, but for the supersymmetric case, we can apply this one and we can compute it exactly and we can check that uh, with uh, super gravity, ah, sorry, a gravity side. Okay, it's like that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> ah, any, ah, any <laughs> means that this is, there is some subtlety in Euclidean space. Actually, for example, for a, uh, n equal one supersymmetric theory on S4, uh, that case we cannot apply this one. Actually, there is no uh, good, uh, this, yeah, this uh, in theory. But so, yes, yes, it's a, it's a, it's a actually there, but uh, yeah, it's a, yeah, there's some subtlety. So you should check that what's a, uh, yeah. So, so could you speak again? Sorry. Uh, actually, n no, in principle, but uh, uh, as I said, yeah, if uh, yeah, it's manifold and non-compact, we need to uh, uh, specify the boundary condition, which is should be supersymmetric and also uh, have some nice property, I mean, to define, uh, this should be def well defined or something like that. If you find uh, such nice boundary condition, then in principle, uh, you can apply any manifold. Uh, but uh, the problem is, uh, uh, the real problem is uh, in uh, any manifold, <laughs> it's uh, difficult to have supersymmetric theory. You, we, we know the <laughs> supersymmetric theory in the flat space, but in, on the curved space, it's not non-trivial. So first of all, we need to define, can define the supersymmetric theory on curved manifold or uh, something, yeah. But if you have that one, then you can apply that. In ge generic. Uh, restriction number, yeah, no. Yeah, actually, it, there's uh, only one supersymmetry is okay. Delta or something like that. Yeah, we, we can choose it. And uh, usually, the choice of the Suji is not uh, relevant uh, because of the, we can rotate it by the user. For the S something S three S four case, we can rotate it, uh, and then any choice is uh, equivalent uh, by the rotation or something like that. U usually, uh, sometimes there is some 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 choices, discrete choice, but uh, yeah. But anyway, uh, here, yeah, yeah. If there's a one city generator satisfying this one, then it's okay. At least, yeah. Okay, so this is a general principle. Okay. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, if you, in, in the actual <laughs> computation on this one is, uh, as I said, it's a bit, uh, heavy, uh, because uh, on a curved space, uh, we cannot cons uh, yeah, construct a super, yeah, in a user super field, it's a component field, but it's uh, uh, corrected by the curvature, okay? And, uh, and so the everything in these uh, things should be in a component field on a curved space. And so it's, uh, in general, a bit, uh, uh, di not, not difficult, but it's a messy calculation. So. To, 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 to see what is the uh, yeah, essence uh, of the, this localization, we will consider the supersymmetric quantum field theory on R1, 0. This is too simple, and uh, there is some speciality for this, uh, this one, but uh, there are some 
some basic things are contained in the, uh, this, this one. Okay. And this is called uh, n equal 1 Suji quantum mechanics or Witten model. This is related to the most theory, but uh, I will not talk about that one. Oh, this is called the Witten model because the Witten used this one to consider the most theory. Sorry? Uh, n equals, sorry, n equals 2. N equals 2 supersymmetric quantum mechanics. Actually, there's a 2 suji generator. Ah, sorry, yeah. There's a 2 suji. Yeah, this means uh, uh, like n equals 2 for the mirrors. There's a 2 supersymmetry. Yeah. And uh, in a quantum mechanics case, uh, R1 comma 0, minimal number of the supersymmetry is 1. So this means there's a 2 uh, quantum, ah, sorry, suji generator. Actually, there's only one, but uh, it's a complex, so it's a uh, mean two. This is action. This is similar to the uh, color multiple in the 4D. Okay, this is like a phi and f uh, and the eta is it and the super potential here. Okay, and uh, uh, we already know that this has a W prime and this is a W prime prime. And uh, we already know this has a Q dot sometimes. Sorry. Here, Q, F, are real. Because this is a, not a 4 suji case, but it's an n equal 2, so it's a 2 suji. So, uh, Q and F are not complex, but real here. And uh, eta is uh, something real fermionic variables. Uh, Okay, it's yeah. Mm. Here, eta and eta bars are independent. Uh, uh, so, so, uh, sorry, uh, here, uh, this t, sorry, t, t, yes, yeah, this is a, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, kind of term for the uh, spinner. But here it's a dimension is one, only the time direction. So there is no, I mean, Dirac matrix is just one. So this is a user spinner uh, kind of time. Ah, sorry, this? I know. Okay. I, what? Sorry. I is. Ah, uh, this one? Ah, uh, here. Ah, uh, I. Ah, uh, this one. Uh, I, I'll explain. Actually, yeah, I'll explain from this model from the index theory point of view, uh, and then we will consider this as uh, using a localization. It uh, looks very different, but uh, uh, gives the same, same things. Okay. The Suji transformation for this model is uh, delta epsilon q equal epsilon eta bar plus epsilon oh. bar.
supersymmetric transformation is like this. Okay. And this is similar in for the n equal one case. I think you can see uh, every computation for this is uh, model is very simple. Anyway, then so this satisfies the supersymmetry algebra. Here, only the Hamiltonian appears because uh, it's one dimension. You can check that uh, because uh, delta Q is this one and, and delta Q del uh, acting on delta to this, yeah, for example, yeta, this gives uh, this one. And uh, this term is cancelled between these and these two, and this term is only appear here. And uh, you can check this one for the delta delta yeta or delta delta a or something like that. You can check that. Uh, maybe I missed. Uh, uh, some plus minus uh, i factor or something like that, but anyway. Okay, the neta charge. Then this we have a Lagrangian the symmetry, so we can take uh, we can construct a neta charge for this symmetry. So this is a result. And uh, in a okay, in an operator format, it becomes uh, uh, P hat. Sorry, uh, actually, yeah, operator formalism. The p hat equal q hat dot. Okay, because this has a user quantum term, like a user quantum mechanics, and. Uh, Conjugate momentum for the yeta is yeta dagger because the action contains the yeta dagger t yet. So conjugate momentum is a derivative of the yeta dot, so it's proportional to yeta hat. Okay, this means. And in this language, uh, Q and Q divide this. This is user. This is the user canonical one, and this is uh, for the fermion.
Okay. Then the Hamiltonian is uh, constructed from the Lagrangian with this one as usual. And then the result is this one. And uh, we can check that this is uh, anti commutator of Q and Q dagger D here with this commutation relation, like this. Okay. Then, of course, e hat square, ah, oh, sorry, the e hat squared, this is zero. One. Then this algebra, or this algebra, implies uh, we can represent this by uh, this matrix. Okay, this is a minimal representation. We can add, I mean, we can construct uh, just a direct uh, sum of this representation, but uh, this gives uh, just uh, copies of the quantum mechanics, so it's not useful. So this is a. Uh, then Hamiltonian. So then the operator form and we can represent this model like this. Okay, so this is a, uh, yeah, here we represent it as a user of uh, quantum mechanics. Yeah, by representing uh, this Q as a derivative operator. But uh, because of the fermion, there is a matrix uh, here, two by two the matrix here. It represents the fermions. And uh, this representation is a famous one. Uh, this is a written model. Okay. Then, now compute the index. With the index of this model. Okay, so then what is a uh, Witte index? Witte index means, uh, okay, Q plus Q dagger. Oh, this is, I write down QB. There's uh, many uh, way to solve this one, but anyway. This is a uh, definition of the zero mode as uh, we saw before. Okay, this is a QB and the QB exact, uh, QB closed one is only the zero mode, Hamiltonian zero mode, okay? So we need to solve this one. Then, The solution of this one. Q is this one. 
here we represent uh, it's a user quantum mechanics like this. Okay? Because, uh, yeah, this is uh, just um, uh, sigma minus, so 0, 0, 1, 0. So Q hat gives a phi, yeah, act on phi psi b. Phi b, and, uh, okay, then the solution is uh, 0 of this one, okay? This can be solved very easy, like this one. Derivative of this one, d del Q gives a uh, uh, del W, a W prime here. Uh, so this is cancelled here. Maybe. Or oh, this is. Sorry. Q hot. Okay. Maybe I I got the long sign here. Anyway, there's a sign flip here and uh, there's a sign flip here. Side F and side B. Okay. So there are three cases. One is trace minus one f with the index uh, is one case. That is a uh, this means a uh, Yeah, actually here we solved the equation. Here we solved the equation, but uh, this may be non normalizable. Then this state is not ac acceptable, okay? So this is exponential w and this is exponential minus w. So if uh, w goes infinity, at q goes to infinity, then this, uh, is uh, sorry if w is minus infinity this this one is normalizable but this one is not normalizable okay then so this case uh, only the uh in this notation this one psi b is not normalizable but this one is not normalizable so there is only the bosonic zero mode that means uh, index is this one okay What it, uh, uh, this one. Ah, yeah. Actually, uh, this, uh, I use a uh, claim before. I mean, if uh, h hat uh, equals zero, this is same as uh, q b equals zero. And q hat q b is uh, we defined as uh, some element. Uh, Combination of Q and Q dagger. Impose, yeah, imposing, yeah, this is a uh, yeah, zero mode condition. I mean, H equal zero. Yeah, of course, you can use uh, this uh, form of the H, but uh, it's very easy to use uh, Q. Yeah. This is as a user, yeah. PPS something is uh, some state vanishing acting the Suji generator. Yeah, it of course uh, vanishing by uh, acting age also, but uh, Q is simple. It's a, it's a linear, but the uh, user Q Hamiltonian is uh, quadratic, so, okay. Sorry, sorry, could you speak again? Sorry. Trace of factors is Ah, this one, ah, sorry, this one, ah, this one? 
So it's back to the uh, okay. So sorry, yeah, this is a sigma three, but this trace is a, a trace over the uh, states. Okay. Uh, there are many states. Uh, uh, I mean, there are many <laughs> a wave function. Okay, this trace is not a trace for this one. Uh, yeah, I mean, this includes uh, this one al al also. Uh, but uh, yeah, this this means if the if the state is represented by uh, something zero and start, this is means uh, uh, psi f is zero case. Then acting this one. Uh, this is a uh, minus one f. This is a uh, star zero plus. And if the but zero uh, star case, this is a minus one. Okay, so this is a, such. A, this is not a trace for the, this uh, two by two. It's a for trace for the state. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So this case. Uh, Uh, why, okay, sorry. So, I mean, this means uh, this case uh, zero, zero mode. Oh, sorry, zero mode equal E W zero only. That is only the zero mode. This this one. Uh, I mean, this is yeah. Take a uh, zero and some some normalization constant here. This is a. Uh, this wave function is a zero mode and normalizable for this for this case. Oh, that that case, this case, yes, yes, yes. Uh, there are three cases. Sorry, this is the one. Yeah. Okay, this case is something like uh, W is uh, this. This is Q. So could you speak? You, you have to consider the zero mode. No, no, there is no to zero mode. Yeah, actually, there, is, there seems uh, to zero mode, but uh, in this case, in this case, uh, this is infinity, like uh, this one. This is exponential uh, Q squared, or something like that. It diverges, so it's uh, not normalizable. So it's a uh, this solves uh, equi uh, some equation, but it's uh, not uh, acceptable. It, it's not a real state. Okay. So this case is a uh, yeah one two yes yeah yeah there's only yeah of course uh, the machine mode machine mode <laughs> in the in the machine mode there's a uh, always a paired uh, fermion and boson and uh, there's a pair. We can construct uh, such a pair using this Q explicitly. But uh, at uh, some spectrum is like that. This is a Hamiltonian. This is a fermion. Uh, this is a boson type. This is a fermion type. Then there's something like uh, always uh, paired. But at h equals zero, there is only the boson in this case. Okay. Right, 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 right. That is the uh, yeah, meaning of the width index. Yeah. So width index counts uh, zero mode. Here we, yeah, this is a quantum mechanics, so we can we can solve this one explicitly. But uh, in a quantum field theory, uh, we cannot do this uh, calculation. But anyway, then we should do some localization computation or something like that. But uh, Next case is address uh, yeah, index is minus sorry minus one case sorry minus one. Oh, this is a uh, uh, d cube exponential w squared equal infinity da da da. So the last one. Then this case is a uh, zero mode is a uh, zero mode is a uh, zero exponential minus w. This is the only acceptable one, and the potential is like uh, this. Uh, sorry, sorry, this is not true. 
maybe I hmm. in this case W becomes minus infinity so this is normalizable uh, so this is normalizable okay this case W equals plus infinity then this is normalizable Ah, uh, sorry, sorry, a, a bit. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, this the three plus minus one f equal zero. In this case, uh, uh, dq x minus w equal infinity and dq minus w equal infinity. This is can be something like uh, this fun case. Of course, this is can be. In anything but uh, only the asymptotic behavior of W is a uh, matter. But in this case, uh, this and this one, then Q is minus infinity, then exponential W is infinite, so this is this one. And uh, if uh, the Q is plus infinity, then exponential W becomes minus W, so this is divergent. So both divergent, uh, that means there's no zero mode. Both of the both of the uh, uh, candidate of the zero mode are non normalizable. Okay, so no zero mode. So index is zero. So this is a I mean supersymmetric uh, Suji breaking case. Actually, zero. Yeah, actually he, we said zero mode. Zero mode is a uh, yeah it's a vacuum. So in this case, uh, there's a only one vacuum, bosonic vacuum, and uh, there's a fermionic vacuum. In this case, there's no vacuum, no supersymmetric vacuum. So this means this is a Suji breaking case. Okay. Uh, yeah. And uh, this is. Uh, sorry. Uh, th this case. Uh, so, so it's okay. third case. So you, you mean. Less than infinity. I mean, d d uh, both uh, here, uh, here. This, this is Q. This is W. Yeah, it's uh, Q is minus infinity. Okay. Uh, Q Q is Q is plus. Yeah, Q is minus. One and there is a divergence coming from uh, this part and this part. Uh. So both part both part can diverge. And this yeah, for for, for this this one or the inverse one. S this part is divergent uh, and this part this part is divergent for this one. It's like that. So yeah. And uh, here you see the some properties of index. So this is general argument. Uh, with the index doesn't depend on the continuous parameter. Actually, we can we can change w uh, anyway. But uh, if the asymptotic behavior is the same, then this index is cha and doesn't change. D I mean this. No normalizable or normalizable condition only depend on the asymptotic behavior. Okay, so here we explicitly see as the uh, with index doesn't depend on the continuous parameter, but it, of course it's a general property. But uh, here you we see it. And uh, okay, so then let's uh, break. Sorry.
consider the whole real line as just a segment. I mean, could be just a segment of the, of the real line, not the, not the integral of a all R, but you, you think that your system lives in a, in a segment. In a yeah.
so uh... <laughs> okay so yeah let's uh, continue uh, quick quick uh, nanda ke ah so this one okay so index is invariant the form okay so so here we studied this model from the operator uh, operator formalized point of view but uh, now we are uh, studying this from the passing level i mean the localization computation this is very similar to the uh, localization computation in uh, uh, supersymmetric quantum field theory. So you see what's uh, going on in uh, localization computation. Uh, okay. First of all, we need to uh, consider the Euclidean theory. Actually, in uh, operator form, we consider the Euclidean theory is very easy. Actually, there is exponential minus tau h is a Euclidean uh, uh, translation generator in time. Oh, sorry. So here we rotate the t to minus i tau. Is a weak rotation, and then l to minus l e, and we also denote uh, t f as i f. Then. Okay, so Euclidean action is like this. So we make this rotation to give uh, this positive definite uh, something. Okay. And uh, okay, Suji so transformation is also given by. Uh, Maybe there's a long sign, but <laughs> this is a Euclidean version, and uh, maybe with a if this has a correct sign, we can check the uh, closure of the Suji algebra and the uh, invariance of the this Euclidean action under this Suji transformation. Well, Here, uh, originally eta and eta bar is uh, some Hamishan conjugate, complex conjugate. But here, in a Euclidean theory, we do not think uh, eta and eta bar is uh, some something related. We think this eta and eta bar are just uh, uh, independent variable. And actually, we will see. Uh, yeah. 
Okay, this is a uh, typical in a uh, localization computation because uh, localization computation usually is uh, considered uh, the theory on a compact manifold. Then we should we should do uh, the you should do in a Euclidean action always. In a and the Euclidean case, uh, Hamiltonian conjugate is very uh, I mean special. Uh, may, sometimes it it doesn't uh, appear. And uh, the point is, uh, if we, the action was Suji transformation everywhere in a path integral, uh, yet there's a yeta and yeta bar, but there's a no yeta daga or yeta bar daga. Okay, so it's like a holomorphic. So there's no problem. There's no daga concept in uh, no daga, no Hamishan conjugate concept uh, notion in this Euclidean theory. And uh, yeta and yeta bar are just uh, independent variables. Okay, then. Uh, so uh, here we we add a hat to indicate this is a uh, operator formalism. In, in the path integral, this index can be represented by this one. Okay, uh, this is a beta. Actually, you know the uh, path integral formalism of the uh, final temperature function function. Actually, if there is this one, then this is a passion function, I mean, final temperature passion function. Beta is one over uh, temperature. In that case, uh, as you know, uh, we can uh, translate this operator homogen to the path integral, like this one, with a Euclidean action, okay? It's much better formalism. But the uh, point is uh, this one. Where Q, yeta, yeta bar are all periodic, i.e., okay. So we think this uh, theta, zero to beta, is a circle. So this is theory on S1. Okay, this is theory on S1. So there is, we need to specify the boundary condition. Okay, and uh, so for the boson, it's uh, of course a periodic, it's usual. I mean, if we translate this one to this one. But uh, without this one, uh, uh, some of the function case, uh, as you know, uh, the fermion should be anti-periodic in a path integral formalism. But uh, in uh, this Witte index case, he thinks I uh, uh, added this one. This one is something uh, inserted here. Uh, this is a, a translation operator for the Euclidean space, and then finally there's an insertion of this minus one f here. So then the fermion gives a minus one extra sign. That means uh, anti-periodic uh, 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 fermion becomes uh, periodic because of this one. Okay. So then all variables should be periodic, okay, including a fermion. This is natural because, uh, because this is a supersymmetric, so we need to uh, identify, or uh, there's a correspondence between the bosonic variables and fermionic variables. If the PLC is different, uh, then the expansion is different, so there's no correspondence. So this is natural, and we can check that from the user quantum mechanical, uh, in a uh, relation between the path integral homomorphism and the operator homomorphism. Okay, then localization. That is uh, adding uh, minus alpha dt delta v. Ah, uh, here, sorry. dt v is, uh, uh, I wrote it down. I is uh, for the action and v is for the Lagrange. Okay, adding. Uh, this one and ah, here, maybe uh, this is 
uh, we we wrote uh, this as uh, alpha before r t before, but uh, it's maybe confusing with this uh, tau. Or so then we sorry. What is uh, b beta? Uh, ah, v. Ah, sorry, v is uh, this. Uh, sorry, v is uh, yeah. This is a uh, minus alpha delta i. I he. Ah, v is for the Lagrangian, and uh, y is. Y is v. Yeah, actually, this is just a uh, uh, notation. Uh, it's a. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, nothing special. Yeah, just a, uh, yeah, just in, instead of I, we use uh, this V. Yeah, Lagrange is uh, a bit convenient because uh, we don't need to uh, write that <laughs> integral. <laughs> just, uh, just like that. Okay. Then, yeah, V should be this one, as I said. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is uh, yeah, a bit. Mm. A B? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Maybe my pronunciation is bad, or uh, it's sorry. Uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, B is this one. This is a uh, yeta uh, corresponding to yeta uh, daga, but actually it's uh, independent. But uh, then this works. This means. Uh, Okay, and uh, delta V, delta V is a You can compute like that. Delta eta by defined by uh, just uh, this one. So this is a definition of the p, and we can compute this one from this one here. Oh, sorry, this is not eta. Hmm? So, and. Uh, this should be d tau d q squared plus f squared plus two j tau d tau. Like that. Okay. So this terms, uh, I mean, total divergence vanishes uh, because we integrate it out uh, over the dt, and t is uh, so d, this tau is a periodic variable, so this vanishes. So we can agree with that. And here we take uh, epsilon by epsilon equal one. At yeah, more precisely, we, s we think uh, epsilon as a, a bosonic parameter and compute everything, but uh, yeah, maybe this is a uh, uh, yeah, filmic uh, transformation parameter is simpler, so here we use uh, this epsilon, epsilon bar, but uh, uh, finally we take epsilon by epsilon equal, this is bosonic uh, to one. Okay. Okay, this is just a computation. Okay, then this is uh, uh, typical, actually, this uh, type uh, of the localization term gives a uh, kinetic term of the action. Okay, this is typical. Actually, because uh, this is uh, yeah, this contains a kinetic term. So, and this and this should be positive definite and everything. So, this is a typical example. Sometimes, uh, yeah, this 
doesn't become uh, just a kinetic term, like uh, n equal to supersymmetric A3 on S4 case. That, that is a first and first one. That is uh, very complicated, but uh, yeah, but uh, this is also a yeah, typical case. Uh, okay. This, sorry, this one? Ah, sorry, this one is, sorry, bosonic part, sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, sorry, this is, ah, sorry, this is not, uh, yeah, this is a, sorry, this, I, I include this one, sorry. Yeah, this is just a, comp yeah, this is just acting delta to uh, this eta and q and f. Delta acting eta gives uh, uh, this one, this, yeah, some code, yeah, square of this one gives this one delta eta times this one. Delta acting Q gives uh, these uh, these terms or something. Plus I F. Okay. Maybe. No, no, no. Sorry, this this is not good. Sorry. Uh, 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 eta epsilon by epsilon dt d eta bar plus <laughs> plus epsilon dt d eta bar. Sorry. Uh, just the same one. Just the same one acting on this delta acting on Q and delta acting F, I think. Because the delta acting on Q gives uh, this one. And uh, epsilon bar squared equals zero, so uh, only this term remained. And delta acting on F, this one gives uh, this part, uh, eta bar, so this is the same. For so this, so then it becomes this action. This one, yes. Uh, wh why this one? This just, uh, actually, it's a, uh, it's arbitrary. Actually, uh, here, uh, if you is uh, there's no no in the indices, so this is a uh, uh, bit, uh, uh, yeah. Yes, ac actually, we can think uh, 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 this this epsilon as a bosonic uh, 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 bosonic variable on a transformation. Then, a, a computation is a bit changed, uh, uh, but. Uh, Actually, then that case, delta is a unique variable, so there is a no uh, Leibniz rule. Actually, there is some uh, extended uh, Leibniz rules. Delta gives a minus one if uh, if it, it jumps uh, the Fermi variable or something like that. So it's a, a bit messy. So I use uh, this notation, but uh, you can use that. Then this epsilon by epsilon equal one is uh, just a uh, yeah convention. Of course, uh, yeah, we can add uh, some number, uh, bosonic number, I mean. It's a change. Uh, sorry, could you speak again? What? Oh, oh, it's, uh, which part? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. uh, this one. Uh, sorry, d d acting on this delta eta gives uh, this one. Uh, okay, so so this is the minus uh, d d q d tau squared, and also this times this minus f squared. This th this f squared minus. Okay. So maybe I <laughs> yeah. I wrote uh, something uh, uh, long, <laughs> signs or long uh, uh, insertion, uh, maybe. But, uh, but you can correct, correct, <laughs> correct everything. I think it should work. So. Okay. Then take. Uh, Times exponential hmm. minus delta d tau 
Ni plus alpha delta V. Okay, so this is the localization. Uh, adding uh, these terms and take alpha goes to zero limit, then this is a uh, here we do not uh, insert any operator, but uh, just compute the passion function or with the index here. Okay, this is uh, yeah according to the general procedure I explained. Okay, then uh, this is also typical. Uh, <laughs> we expand. Okay, first of all. Uh, the, the saddle point, saddle point is a, uh, zero of this delta B, okay? So zero of this kinetic term. That means uh, F equals zero and Q dot equals zero. That means Q equals constant and F equals zero. So the pass integral are reduced to just a constant Q. So it's just an integral, okay? So I denote that uh, this is a zero mode. This is a, uh, this solves the uh, V equal zero condition, delta V equal zero condition, because this is constant, uh, this is zero. And uh, then expanding around that. Actually, Q is a real parameter, so <laughs> expansion is a bit <laughs> difficult. I, I mean, <laughs> there's a sine and cosine, not exponential. I. So anyway, yeah, we will denote it's a Q one, two, or something like that. But here, n equal non-zero. So this is a, a non-zero mode of the, uh, this expansion. And uh, also, uh, same expansion and same notation, da 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 da. And f for the f, f equal uh, no zero mode. Actually, uh, uh, fermion also has a zero mode here. If eta equal constant or eta by equal constant, that's sort of the delta v equal zero. So I, uh, we expand around the zero mode, and this is non-zero mode. Plus, uh, uh, maybe we also expand this like. Okay. So now we expand the variable around the zero mode. Okay. This is just a Fourier transformation, and for the S3 for S4 case, this is just a harmonic uh, function expansion. So it's tractable. So this is a so zero mode is a constant. Okay, so then in alpha goes to zero limit. Localized to delta v equals zero. That is a zero mode of, sorry, of q yeta yeta bar. Oh, sorry, this is, oh, sorry, this is also yeta bar equal yeta bar zero plus uh, dot. And then, uh, this integral, becomes uh, like this. Uh, here, here we can use uh, this coordinate transformation. Then we can do this integration uh, because we free transform. 
Uh, then the result is uh, trivial. I mean, uh, Qn1 squared Qn2 squared times 2 pi beta over n squared plus 2 beta bar n1 beta n2 minus beta bar n2 beta n1 times 2 pi beta over n times 2 pi over beta pi plus Oh my gosh, oh. Plus Fn1, Fn2, oh my gosh, this is not good. times 2 pi over beta pi plus beta f0 square. Okay. Yeah, we can erase this one. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, this comes from the derivative. Uh, the boson is a two derivative, so this terms appear. And this term is a uh, fermion with one derivative, so this terms appear uh, with, a, with a quadratic, I mean, a square, and this one. And this comes from the 2 pi over beta pi over beta over 2, is come from this. Uh, coordinate change in this theta or something like that. And uh, okay, this is a uh, zero mode. On the f for the f, there is no kind of uh, derivative, so this is just this one. Then It becomes uh, Qn1 squared plus Qn2 squared plus 2 by n, eta n bar, eta n2, 1, 2. Oh, okay, 1, 2. Uh, 1, 2 because uh, uh, there's uh, only one derivative, so it, it, this becomes. Uh, for example, cosine to sine. So sine sine is a non zero. So this in this is one, two, two, one, one. This is one, two. Something like that. And uh, okay. Plus. Okay. So this is uh, delta B, or delta I. Okay. And then make a coordinate change by square root alpha. and non zero. Z 
then, actually, in this uh, integration, this LE contains Q, eta, eta bar, and F. And uh, this contains a superpotential W. And the superpotential W is a generic function. But uh, because of this transformation, uh, this means uh, Q is replaced by root alpha over Q prime or something like that. OK. Then you can neglect non-zero mode. Non-zero non mode means uh, this one. Okay. Okay. This yeah. This transformation gives a. Uh, uh, okay. There is a alpha here. Then th because by this transformation, this is a square. This square, square, square. So this transformation uh, absorbs this uh, alpha here. Okay. So this is a user kind of Gaussian factor without some. If without uh, some infinite something. But uh, in this Lagrangian, uh, in the LE, it Q is enter like one over square root alpha times Q prime, okay? But he here we take the alpha goes to limit, uh, infinity limit. So this becomes zero in here, okay? So then we can neglect uh, zero mode. And in this limit, we can replace Q eta F to zero mode. Okay, this is a localization. Okay, but uh, still there is a still there is a this free action. This is a quadratic. This is a free action remaining because of this uh, transformation. Okay, so this gives a Gaussian factor or a one loop factor. Or I may say yeah anything, but. Uh, we should compute this free theory. So, but this is just a uh, Gaussian, so we can compute it. And uh, we can compute it very uh, easily in this case. Oh, sorry, this D is. Uh, Sorry. Okay. So non-zero mode appear only appear in here. So what we need to cons uh, compute is uh, this one uh, for the non-zero mode. After computing this factor, uh, remaining things is just an uh, integration over this Q0 and eta0 and F0. Okay. And this is uh, given by, uh, okay, for, okay, for each factor. This comes from the uh, integration over this one. Okay, this is a Gaussian exponential something, and uh, alpha is uh, replaced by this one. Uh, then this factor appear here. Use our Gaussian integration. Uh, you mean dQ minus dQ squared uh, some c equal c or something like that. Here she is uh, this one, so this factor appears. But uh, there's a square root, but there's uh, two pairs, q in one and q in two. So this. And then eta. Eta is just a uh, Gaussian, so this gives uh, this factor. Uh, actually, here we, uh, okay, we do not. Uh, uh, we, uh, uh, yeah, we in, I introduce this alpha here. Uh, this 
It comes from the major, anyway, yeah. We include alpha also. Then, this comes from this one, uh, but uh, this is a squared because this has a two pairs for each n, and also uh, minus one uh, because uh, this minus one, and. Uh, This is from the this one, beta alpha two pi. Okay, so this is a uh, one factor for this theory. This is uh, a bit trivial, but uh, uh, yeah, usually uh, this one factor depends on the this moduli uh, Q zero, but uh, here it uh, doesn't depend. Anyway, so localization computation is like that. This is a uh, uh, one loop factor. Then we can see this is a uh, okay. This is an infinite sum, but uh, we can regularize it uh, using a uh, using a. Uh, Zeta function regularization. Zeta function regularization means um, okay. uh, 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 Zeta function regularization means uh, n zero infinity one equal zeta zero equal minus two. Okay. So infinite product can be converted to infinite sum here by, by the log here. Numpy squared. So this two comes from the n, it negative, uh, negative and uh, negative n and positive n. Then this, using this one, zeta function regularization, it's a uh, analytic continuation. Then this is the result for the one factor here. So, so a uh, minus sign, minus sign, sorry, he is here. Go up to the what? Ah, oh, sorry. Uh, oh, 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 sorry, this is, there is a um, minus four pi squared. I think that's it. <laughs> yeah. Actually, these factors are a bit subtle, but uh, the interesting thing here is uh, beta, alpha are completely cancelled here. Okay, then no. Get alpha here. Okay. Actually, yeah, alpha should be absent in this computation. Otherwise, uh, the theory, I mean, the the t, the t or partial function depend on alpha. But we claim that it doesn't depend on alpha. So. Ah, but uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, then uh, we will, uh, yeah. Then we will uh, integrate uh, out uh, this Q0, eta 0, and F0. This is almost trivial, okay? Uh, but uh, this, it, this is, uh, uh, time is already over, so, so I stop the here. So, okay, sorry.